one. Oh. Hi, my name is Yvonne and I am the apparel manager here at Motorcycles of Dulles. And back by popular demand is the helmet watermelon test. Obviously not an official safety test, but we have stuffed watermelons into these helmets and we're going to be dropping them off the loading dock at a height of about eight feet. Um, so over on this side, we have some more premium helmets. Um, we have one that has been crashed in already. Um, this one is a very old premium helmet. It does carry a Snell rating. Um, and then these two both carry Snell ratings. This one is very, very old. And then this one is much newer. And then down here, these guys are the more entry level. Now this entry level helmet is from 1997. So it is pretty old. It carries a Snell 1995 rating. Um, this one is a modular. This one here is also, and then we have a three quarter. So it doesn't have a chin bar. So that's gonna affect how rigid the helmet is when we drop it. Um, this one definitely has drop damage on it already. You can see all the scarring on top of this helmet. So we're gonna drop these and see how they do. Here we are ready for our helmet drop. We've got Lucas and Sean who are gonna drop our helmets. The first two helmets are the oldest two. Uh, one premium and one entry level. Unfortunately, this clip right here spelled the end for one of our trusty microphone packs. It also spelled the end for one of these two helmets. The Arai, tagged 1995, passed with flying colors. The HJC, tagged 1997, didn't. We got a new set of microphones on the way, so stay tuned for future videos where the audio is hopefully a little bit less hectic. Alright, on our next round, it is a crashed in already uh, showy and a modular HJC. Alright, three, two, one. This one's alive. All right. Shall we already pass? Yep. <laughs> this one's alive. Round three. We've got an extremely old, more premium level helmet and a newer entry level three quarter helmet. Uh, so three, two, one. His helmets are doing a good job. I time. know. Yeah, this one's still good. I think good. this guy stayed intact. Samuson. I think Samuson lived. Yeah. Yeah, but these helmets are good. For the fourth round, we have premium helmet, pretty new. Um, it's still expired and a more entry level modular helmet on three, two, one. This one's good. That one lived. This one's actually alive also. There's no way. All right, so here we go again. We've got both of the premium helmets. We're going to try dropping them on their side. Three, two, one. One. We, we have to Oh, yeah, we got breakage, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one is still intact. No, it's not. Oh no. All right, so we are doing two more of the premium helmets since they survived the first round. Uh, here we go on the second round. So three, two, one. Ooh. This is, oh, yep. Oh, yep. yep, it broke. This one's all the way through. Oh, we got multiple fractures. One crash, you're good. Two crash, you are not so good. All right, so we have two HJCs. We've got a three quarter and a modular, and they've moved to round two. So let's see what happens with these. Uh, three, two, one. All right, no. yeah, that's, yeah, that's cracked. Yep, that's cracked. And that crack. one. Big old crack. Oh, yeah. This is the second drop of our final helmet. Uh, so it's an LS2 modular helmet. And three, two, one. Oh. So I think what we can say from this activity <laughs> is that you should not drop your helmet and then ride in yeah, it. Here. 
All right, so the results are in, and I wanted to thank the customers that gave me their old helmets for this test to make it possible. Um, so we saw in round one, we dropped all of the helmets. Uh, only one was eliminated. Uh, and then on the second round, we dropped them all again on their side uh, to see what would happen. So again, we're not dropping nice helmets. These are old helmets that were given to us by customers and they knew we were gonna be sticking watermelons in them uh, to drop them off the loading dock. Just some fun and science experiment here at Motorcycles of Dulles. And on the second drop, all of the watermelons cracked. So the takeaway from this is don't ride in a dropped helmet. Um, even though those helmets were considerably old, most of them made it through that first round, but they didn't make it through the second round. Uh, we do helmet fittings here. Uh, just give us a call or email us here at Motorcycles of Dulles. Thanks. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs>